six players on this current Yankees team have threads back to all those 26 trades that the Yankees made. Start with that deal with the White Sox, Jack. It brought in David Robertson and Todd Frazier for some veteran leadership. They've since left. Right now, they're benefiting with Tommy Canely. All right, when that deal was made, you look at the bigger names in the deal, and it is Robertson and Frazier, but Canely is the one who's had some staying power. Bob, he has actually had a streak this year of 11 straight appearances without allowing a hit or run. He's night and day from the pitcher he was last year. All right, let's move on to our second trade, a deal with Miami that brought in Giancarlo Stanton. They spun off for Brayu to uh, get send Brian McCann to the Astros. So in a way, it was McCann for Stanton. But let's also remember the byproduct of that. It opened up a spot for Gary Sanchez. Right, opens up a spot. But also, Stanton was kind of out there because he had... A few teams on his list that he would go to. The Yankees were one of those teams. Very savvy deal for the Yankees. Meredith talked about how Stan's going to be on the injured list a little bit longer, but Yankees aching to get his bat back in the lineup. All right, now this next deal was a big one, obviously. They spin off Andrew Miller to Cleveland. He had a couple years left on his deal. They net Clint Frazier and Ben Heller, plus Justice Sheffield, who then then spin off for James Paxton to the Mariners. Right, the deal that just keeps on giving. Not that the Yankees didn't really really like Andrew Miller, but the fact that Sheffield, who may develop into a really good pitcher, the fact that he was able to get them Paxton, that's a front end of the rotation type pitcher at a very reasonable salary. Again, he's also injured right now, but from what he has done so far, the Yankees have loved what they've seen. And now let's uh, talk about another deal that had a huge impact. Aroldis Chapman goes to the Cubs that year. They get Glaber Torres and Billy McKinney, who they then get for Jay Happ from Toronto, so they spun off that deal as well. Right, general manager Brian Cashman had to get Hal Steinbrenner to sign on to the idea of trading. Miller, trading Chapman, and you see that not only did it bring Torres, but you have a McKinney that you can then turn around last year and bring in Hap, and what happens? Not only does Hap pitch very well, but he gets a feel for New York. He likes New York, and the Yankees are able to sign him on a two-year free agent deal. All right, so everybody's going to look through all of these deals and say, what was the biggest impact? And I think at this point, you have to say, given the way he's played, oh, we take a look at one more deal, the deal for Beltran that gets them Tate, and then they also uh, get Swan but that leads to Paxton, leads to Britain coming in, and of course Britain stays around on a free agent deal, as does Aroldis Chapman. Quite a similar scenario to what I just said about half. You get Zach Britton here last year, you let him get a feel for New York. Not only does he help you last year, when the Yankees didn't see the best of Zach Britton, but he likes New York enough that when time comes to sign a free agent deal, there's no closer spot open with the New York Yankees. Zach Britton said, I'm cool with that. I'll pitch the seventh inning. I'll pitch the eighth inning. I want to pitch on a winner. So when we look at all of those trades, Bob, it, it's interesting, all the tentacles that point in different directions to help make the 2019 Yankees a better team. Yeah,